Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really fun Easter DIY. And to be completely honest, I'm kind of sick of Easter egg DIYs because I'm not very good at them, and I feel like I killed it with the cascarones last year. So please check out that video if you wanna figure out how to make the most fun Easter eggs there ever were and ever will be. They're basically Mexican confetti-filled eggs and you crash them on people's heads and it's super duper fun. So I feel like eggs are pretty well covered. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make DIY bunny ears. These are so cute. They're really fun to make for all the kids. And I love this idea because it requires so few supplies. I mean, I love stuff I don't have to sew ever. So this is a no sew DIY. So all you need is a headband. I got this from my local drugstore or it can be like a 50 cent headband, does not have to be good at all. I then have my piece of felt, and you can see I drew out the bunny ear pattern. So make note, basically just draw out the ears as big as you want them to be, and then you just do this little business down at the bottom. Basically, um, you just break it into thirds at the bottom about two inches up, and then that's gonna be where we're cutting. And then I have a pair of scissors. And then obviously the thing that holds DIYs together 90% of the time for me is hot glue, so hot glue gun. All right, well, let's get started. So first I'm actually going to cut out my bunny ears. And the fun thing too is that you can use this exact same concept with other types of animal ears. So if you wanted to do mouse ears or cat ears or something like that for Halloween or for a costume, the same idea works. So I'm gonna cut these little bits here so it's about like third of the way through the bottom of the ears and then about an inch and a half up. So you have these three flaps right here. So now I'm gonna glue it together. So I'm gonna take the glue, basically find my pinch point. I'm just gonna kind of put the glue on both bits of the ear. Then I'm just gonna press it together. And this creates a nice kind of three-dimensional bunny ear effect, which is really cute. And now for the other side. And so now I'm gonna start basically building this on the headband. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of room and then I'm gonna put glue just on the bottom of the strap right here, the center piece. And then very gently, cause it is hot, I'm gonna fold it over and hold it so that it just stays together. So I'm gonna take these two other pieces, I'm gonna wrap them up too. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the tip and just wrap it up. I'm gonna do that on the other side. And by doing it this way, what it does is it creates a really nice sort of foundation for the base of the ear. So they actually stay upright. So, cause you want these to be kind of floppy, but not super floppy. All right, so that's ear number one. And so for ear number two, I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. All right, so my bunny ears are done at this point. You can do fun things like add glitter, draw on them, do all kinds of things. But I like a simple bunny situation. So let's see. Bunny ears. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these. They're pretty cute. I don't know, I like them. I'm just missing like a little cotton tail, which obviously I don't have, but next time. Next time how to make a cotton tail. But for now, the bunny ears I think are pretty awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Please have a very happy Easter and include in the comments the kind of fun DIYs you guys are gonna be doing with your friends and family. I love hearing about them. Plus, let me know if there's any other kind of goofy, fun, holiday-related DIYs you wanna see from me. All right, well, I will talk to you guys soon and happy Easter. Bye.